Hey, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to Ultimate Affiliate Marketing. I am your host. It's Paul Martin here. And so I've managed to finally come down from the um, almost euphoria, if you like, of doing a live webinar for two and a half hours last night. It was pretty crazy. Um, as you probably, if you listen to yesterday's episode, you can see that I was, well, you probably hear that the, the, the hype within my voice because I'm so passionate about what we did. And I know that it's going to help so many people. It was just incredible. It really was. But today I wanted to talk about creating content, right? And this is probably one of the hardest things for people to do because when you create content, what are you trying to achieve? Well, you're trying to achieve attention. You're trying to build your own audience so that when you do have products or services or anything like that that you want to sell as an affiliate, then people are more likely to come to you because they, you're building authority, right? And that's what they look to. Is they, they start to know you, like you, trust you, and all that good stuff, right? So where do you find content from? And how do you stop this, whether it be, I call it writer's block, but in today's mediums, there are so many different ways of putting content across. So it's not just sort of like actually writing. We're not talking about, you know, putting a post on Facebook or, or writing a blog. You know, you could do what I'm doing right now, which is um, podcasting, right? And I do it every day. So, you know, you can imagine that I don't sit there every morning and start sweating, thinking about what I'm going to talk about on the podcast because through my day, the ideas flow because I'm so used to doing it now, right? So, and it's the same with like YouTube as well. So, you know, that's video. You could do Facebook Lives. You could do um, videos on Facebook. You could post all sorts of different content within Facebook groups and all this sort of stuff, right? Um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many different platforms now that we can produce content and publish on. You know, you've almost got an unlimited amount, um, even doing crazy videos on TikTok, which seems to be getting people amazing results, which is still something I haven't quite got a handle on yet. I tried it, and <laughs> if, you, if you happen to cross by a TikTok account, you'll see... The first, I don't know, three or four videos where I kept getting the, the format wrong. I was trying to upload from my phone and it just looked, oh my God, it looked terrible. Absolutely useless. And I think the highest views any one of my videos has got, I think I've only uploaded about, I don't know, seven or eight of them. I think the highest one's only got like 600 views on it. But the point is content. So how do we find the content and what do we do with it when we get it, right? Well, for me, um, I just, like I said, it, the stuff happens every day, right? When you are involved in affiliate marketing, you are engaging in groups, you are getting emails, you're reading emails, you're, you know, you, you're watching trainings, you're, you're getting onto webinars, you're, all this good stuff, right? There's so many different ways of consuming content, and then you can actually then go out and create your own spin on what you've already seen, what you've learned, because that's what we do. You know, even even teachers back in, you know, in high school or college or anything like that, universities, they are just teaching you what they learned themselves once. Now, uh, in a regimented way, yes, and it's not made to seem original because you know, generally speaking, they have a curriculum and they have to pump out the same stuff. But what we're doing is we want to be able to put our own spin on it and make it our own so that you're just not looking like, you know, copy and pasting other people's Facebook posts, for example, because that quickly gets found out. People see it on one page, they'll see it on another page and they'll call it out as well because people are like that. They'll say, hey, I just saw something else. And yes, um, people have copied my stuff before and it's been incredibly amusing when it happens. Um, I even had one, I remember back uh, probably about a year ago now, uh, I had someone literally rip off one of my YouTube video thumbnails, used the same one, right, and put it on his, put his, own, on his own video. And um, I was able to um, find, the, find this person, right, <laughs> And I messaged them and they didn't seem to understand that it was wrong. And they just kept going, oh, but it's okay if I do it. It's okay. And I was like, well, no, actually it's not okay if you just completely plagiarize what I've just done. You know, I spent my own time creating that. 
I don't think it's fair for you to just come along and steal it, right? Now, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit crap to do. And we've, we've, you know, if you're around long enough, you know, you're going to make mistakes yourself. I've made mistakes myself. Um, and, you know, I've, I've admitted those mistakes and it's something that I'm not proud of. And I've learned a massive lesson because of it. Um, but you have to try and be original, but based on the same sort of thing. So if I wanted to talk about, um, you know, ranking on YouTube, for example, I didn't invent the methods to rank on YouTube, right? Hands up. It wasn't me. I didn't invent it, but I can explain it to you on what I know and how I've learned it. That's fine. Okay, and that's the sort of thing that you want to be looking to try and do yourself. So when it comes to it, creating content, I mean, no one really invents content anymore. It's not, uh, I mean, there's so many different videos. If you, if you go on like YouTube, for example, right, and you, you search out how to make money online, you will get a ton of results, right? And if you niche down even more and go how to make money online using Amazon FBA, you'll get a whole stack of videos on that. And you'll see a theme between all of them, and it's all talking about the similar type of ways, right? If you go one level deeper as well. So, you know, obviously, you know, the, the higher the search up, the more variety you're gonna get. But the deeper the search gets, the more likely you are to get very similar type of content repeated back to you. But in each case, they're putting their stamp on it. They're putting their personality. They're putting their experiences into it. And that's what you start doing as far as creating content goes. And if you're really stuck, you can still go to different places like, uh, you know, uh, BuzzFeed or Google Trends and, and go and find websites and blogs that talk about affiliate marketing and go and search for ideas to talk about. And the same with uh, your emails as well, because... I mean, I've said it before, I get like 250 odd emails a day. And if I went through every single one of them, I'd have like 250 different ideas to talk about every day, right? So you can never run out of content. When people say, oh, I'm struggling to create content. I don't know what to say. I don't know this, that, or the other. You can find it. It's out there. You, you just go into your inbox, log on to Facebook, Go on to Instagram, go on to YouTube, go on to TikTok, go on to Pinterest or, you know, gosh, you know, I'm probably, Twitter even, um, you know, I'm probably forgetting a whole bunch of platforms here, but it's all out there. And all you've got to do is decide what you want to talk about or which niche you want to talk about and go and seek that content out. Read it, absorb it, and then put your own spin on it. And that is how you can create content because when you put your personality into it as well, those people that gravitate to you, you start, you know, these people which become your audience because they like the way you talk, they like the way you look, they like the way you, you present things or anything else like that, they start resonating with you, okay? And when they resonate with you, that's when they start following you and that's when you have started building that no like trust okay and that is one of the major parts of creating an audience and yeah sure um people will flock to you if you have amazing results to share and you know say okay right well i've just earned a hundred thousand dollars doing x y and z and you stick that on facebook guess how to learn what you know and put posts like you know who wants to learn how to do this and do that you get a bunch of people because they're desperate they really want to do it and, you know, that's the sort of like magnetic way that people will get drawn to you. But if you can't deliver it on that promise, if you can't deliver on those results, they're going to drift away again. And that's where it comes in. And I've seen people do stuff where they literally just spell it all out. You know, there's people that put stuff in courses and, and sell information that you can freely get from other people as well. I mean... Let's take an example, Johnny West, right? He's so open about what he does. He's so open about his methods. It's crazy. And over the last, I don't know, six to eight months, he's been doing trainings where he just tells everybody 
all the sort of like the insights and, and the stuff that other people were charging massive amounts of money to go and buy a course. But Johnny just said, no, I'm just going to let you have it all free. I'm just going to tell you everything. And it created a massive wave of uh, a yeah, surge in his reach, in his audience. And, you know, ultimately he did have a product to sell. So it's done him extremely well. And I've got maximum respect for the guy. I mean, you know, he's, he's helped me no end in, in the, what I've done as well. So, you know, hats off to him. But I just wanted to give him that shout out there. He probably will never hear about this. But if someone is listening and they you know Johnny, to, you know, shoot him a message and let him know. That'd be cool. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know how you can cr start creating content and you can repeatedly create content because it's not that hard to do. It's right there out for you waiting. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow. Enjoy.